The statement made by the union head came in light of complaints that passengers are not only being overcharged for transportation services, but are being continuously becoming the victims of high levels of discomfort experienced in overloaded minibus on the various bus parks. And all of this being discussed, we put a hotline where you can call in and give the bus number so, you know. I think that that's, that's one of the things that we are discussing that as the code of conduct and so and what form of penalty or enforcement could be done. I, you know, it's a good suggestion that uh, we can look at putting out a hotline. I don't know if the hotline will go to the Ministry of Business or if the hotline can go to the Ministry of Public Infrastructure or if it's going to go to public security most likely. According to him, this is just one of the measures being discussed to address the disorderly behavior often demonstrated by minibus drivers and conductors. He revealed that he is aware that drivers have been drafting their very own fare structures and as such are demanding that passengers pay those amounts which is unlawful. Andrews hope that the business ministry places a special mark on the new fare structure which will ease some contention presently ongoing. Here is what the passengers had to say. They request like $200 sometimes, but I don't pay it. I always have my change, so I would pay just the fare that I know. I don't allow them to charge me any extra. So $200, what is the usual fare there? The usual fare is 120 For instance, if I go into Buxton and the bus go into, say, Victoria, they will say um, 160 ahead or 200 ahead. So they request the fare before you enter. It's either you go or you don't go. It's up to you. The Victoria buses, they take 160, while the Enmore buses take 200. Okay. So for how long has this been happening? For quite some time since they, they had a raise of fare um, a few months ago. The buses remain at 200, the Enmore buses. And um, as you can see right now, they have favorites at certain times. So passengers are here waiting almost stranded because they're they're choosing who they should take at this hour. I'm living in Covey Garden on the East Bank. And what's the, what's the normal package to go there? $80 but bus take $100. They never give back to you. I guess it's a raise of fear already. Davina Ramdas for the Evening News.